Hi, in this video, I will give you an insight about awk, one of the common use cases for awk as one-liners in shell and shell scripts. Well, awk is a full-blown language with lots and lots of features, but uh, most of the use case for awk revolves around this particular pattern. Normally, when you have an output stream, or it could be a file content or commands output, you might want to select a line, select a line from the output based on a criteria. And once you select the line, you want to extract a particular column from that line. And this is a most commonly used feature that people look for in Awk. Let's take an example of any file here. I'm just randomly choosing a file. For example, I have a file called slash prog meminfo on a Linux system, which is the file that exposes the memory management statistics of my Linux system, pseudo file, right? You have a lot of entries in here. Let us say I want to find out the commit limit on my system, which is this number. So commit limit is the line. And once you select this line, I want to extract this number. How do I do that? Well, this is how you solve this problem. You could actually use awk. First, most of the awk scripts is best represented in single quotes because you might use dollar variables, which are specific to awk. You don't want the shell to substitute the dollar variables with shell semantics. So use single quotes to be safe. And if I want to search for a line based on a regular expression pattern, extract a line based on regex, you can use forward slash. Look for the line that's got the word commit limit. Though I'm not using a proper regular expression here, it's a normal substring, but still this will work, right? And then open curly brace. Just put print, close curly brace, close quotes. And then you can provide the file name, which is slash proc slash meminfo. It extracts a line. But I don't want the entire line. I just want this particular column. The number of columns that are there here is this is first column. I mean, this whole thing till this white space, first column, second column, third column, the fields, right? First field, second field, third field. You can call it that way if you want to. So I can just say, let's say dollar print, dollar one prints the first field, dollar two prints the second field. You can see this. We got, we got this extracted. So we can just run this command. We can extract a particular column based on a criteria. Let's take another example in here. Then this time I'm going to use it like a filter. When you run ls minus l in any folder, I'm going to just select a folder here like say slash edc or maybe slash. You can see it lists contents in full stat format, right? It, it specifies the permissions, number of links, user ownership, right? User and group ownership, uh, timestamp and all of the details. Right? Maybe the size, the timestamp, and the file or the symbolic link representing the file. But let us say I want to look at this particular column, the second column. You know what's the significance of second column? If at all you represent, if at all this particular column represents a folder, a folder, this generally indicates how many subdirectories or subfolders are there in that folder. For example, etc has 182 subfolders. Home has 105 subfolders. You can see uh, proc has 519 folders, 598 folders. So let us say that I want to look up in slash EDC this time. I want to look up all those folders that have more than four subfolders. How do I do that? Well, I can actually say ls minus l slash EDC, pipe, awk, and I could just look for. I can just, I'm not going to use regular expression this time because I'm looking for the second column. Right, second column. I can just directly say dollar two is greater than or equal to four. Greater than or equal to four. Once you do find that, let's print. We'll print only those entries where the subfolders are greater than four. You should also know that if it's not a folder, if this is a file, if it's not a folder, then this might indicate how many hard links are there to a file. This could indicate number of links to a file, but for folders, it'll indicate number of subfolders. I'm being very optimistic in here because I don't see hard links created on Linux these days. So I'm just going to use this as a mechanism. Or maybe I want to find out how many uh, folders are there, which have got more than 10 subfolders underneath them. I can actually run this command this way and you can print this. There are two folders that are having more than 10 subfolders under slash EDC. And maybe I can, I'm not interested in all the details. Maybe I want, to want I, I want to print the last column. You count the column numbers, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So you can just say dollar nine. It only extracts the ninth column. So this is how you can use awk 
where you can select a line based on a criteria which can be based on column column value is equal to some value column number is equal to some value it can be a regular expression based on a line and then you can cherry pick exactly what column you want to print hope you found this video useful to know more about awk to understand all the features of awk as usual you can always use man awk look up the man page or if you have an info reader doc you can also use info awk to get more details on your linux system this whole details are covered in here a lot of features or you can also use info awk to get more details about it if you have an info reader in your linux system hope you found this video useful so please do comment if you really find find this video useful so i can make more future videos like these thank you very much hope to meet you in future videos